Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April the 5th of 2020, well, it is titled Color the Universe. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image uh, first known to have been published back in the late 1800s. And on the right-hand side, we see the Earth in the foreground. We see the sun off to the side. We can see the moon up in the sky. And we can see a number of stars. Now, the, and then on the edge, we're seeing the edge of the celestial sphere uh, stretching from the lower left-hand corner up towards the top middle of the image. Now, the celestial sphere is a concept that is used in astronomy, and it is how things appear when you go out and look at the sky at night. It looks like all of the stars and planets and the sun and the moon are all attached to a great sphere that orbits around the Earth. So long ago, it was thought that this sphere would circle around the Earth, and that was what caused objects to rise and set, that this was moving and that the Earth was standing still. Now, of course, we now know that it is the Earth doing the rotating that makes the celestial sphere appear to move. In many cases, it was also thought that the stars were holes in the sphere, showing off a little bit of light from the heavens. And we see someone here exploring off towards the lower left-hand side, exploring having reached the edge of the uh, celestial sphere where the sphere of the stars meets the earth off in the distance and looking through to see the heavens beyond and what might be happening out beyond there. So a continuing search for knowledge. Now, in reality, there is no edge to the celestial sphere. It is a great sphere that surrounds the globe of the Earth, and you could never actually reach this. But it is an idea of the exploration of knowledge. And one of the things that we uh, like to think about is that science is really never completely settled. We are always looking for better explanations. We talk about things like dark matter and dark energy now, but that doesn't mean that we will not be looking at something different in a couple of decades as we get more information. So nothing is really completely settled in terms of any of our theories. We are still looking for theories that supplant general relativity in terms of explaining how gravity works. So it's quite possible that 20, 50, or 100 years from now, we will have a better understanding of gravity than that which Einstein gave us, just like Einstein supplanted what Newton gave us hundreds of years before. So we're always looking for a better explanation of, of how things work out in the universe. So that was our picture of the day for April the 5th of 2020. It was titled Color the Universe. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Hubble Spiral. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.